Hey guys! Salut mes amis! Ok, hallo gebar! Maxime here! In this video, I'll show you how to change this menu known as the Radio Weapon Select menu. Not sure if you will find this useful at all, but Valve might perhaps implement new commands to it later which makes it even more useful, like radio commands. To start editing the menu, go to your CSGO directory. You can find it by going through Steam, CSGO, Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. Inside your CSGO folder, you should find a text document called Radial underscore Quick Inventory. If you can't see it, then start CSGO and update your game. When you open the file, you should get something like this, unless they decide to change it a bit in the future update. The good news is, you can make changes inside, save them, and it will update just by changing the map, so you don't need to restart the game each time. Anyway, the first rule of the menu is that you can only have maximum 10 slots, which is still a lot of slots. The menu is like a wheel or a clock, and in total, that's a full rotation, which is 360 degrees. Here you can see the current items that are available in the menu. They are using 51.42855, and if you were to add all these up, you will get very close to 360, which is very close to a full rotation. If we disable one of the slots, it will look broken. That's because if you add up all the active slots now, they won't come close to 360. So in order for us to create our own menu, we first need to know how many slots we want. For this video, I'm going to create a menu that will only consist out of nades. No guns, just nades. The Molotov and Incendiary counts as one nade, so that means there are five nades in total. To make this work, I have to divide 360 with five. The answer is 72. Now, the order goes from top to bottom, which means the first nade will start first on the menu. The rest will then continue like a clock and go around the wheel. So first in my list will be the flash. Next will be the smoke. Next one will be the molotov. Next one after that will be the decoy. And finally, the HE grenade. Remember to remove all the other items that you are not going to use. Now my menu looks like this. It's a bit crooked, and that's because the first slot isn't properly lined up. So the last thing we need to fix is the starting angle. It's currently set to 334.29, but if it was set to zero, then the first slot would start at 12 o'clock. Some people might like this as well. But to go back a bit, the easiest fix for that is to divide one of the slots by 2. So, 72 divided by 2 equals 36, then take 360 and subtract that with 36. If I put this value inside the starting angle, then the first slot will be lined up properly. Quick moths. I'll put this menu that I made inside the video description so you can try it out yourselves. Binding the menu is the last step. All you need to do now is bind something to plus quick INV. Here's an example. That's the video tutorial. If you think others will appreciate this, share the video to them. At the moment, I'm not going to use the menu myself because I'm already comfortable with my keybinds, but new players to the game might find this useful. If you want to support my channel, then make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.